This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my channel. Hopefully you're all right. How are you doing? Today, or this morning rather, I should say, we are in High Ten Stains. We got loaded yesterday from Liverpool area. I was going to start filming yesterday, but I thought I'll leave it till today. Um, we've got a load of coils on. I'll show you them in a second. I've just taken off, just taken off all the straps now. We um, we got seven coils. I put two straps over each coil, so 14 straps in total. It's a lot of straps. Let me show you. There we go. So, like I said, I've still got three more to undo. Like these three, but um. I've delivered here before. Sometimes you're in and out quite quickly. Sometimes you're not. It's really hard to tell. Um, I would, I would like to think that because I've only got seven on, hopefully it won't take too long. But you just never know. There we go. One more to go. Let's see if I can get one-handed. Hey. Right, that's all the ratchets off. We've got to put them away. them in here okay cool so we just got to take all these straps off now so let's go and get our trusted strap binder <laughs> times like uh, this when you've got 14 straps on that um it really does come in handy recommend using it buying one also right next to a train track so at some point a train might pass this as we're in our as we're doing these straps up. I'm not sure where they're tipping me. They might do it where I am, I'm not sure. Or they might crane it off. They don't know. Brilliant. Okay, 14 straps are now off. Just gotta put them all in the box. Right, we're just waiting now to be told what to or where to go. There's there's a few ways of getting offloaded. One is that big old crane up there. Another is that yellow thing just there that I'll offload you as well. And the third way is via forklift. So, I mean, these are elevated. You can get forks underneath each one. So, I would have thought that'd be the one they go for, but I don't know. Uh, yeah, just need to wait and find out. We do know where we're going from here though. So once we are tipped here, we've got a 10 o'clock booking for H&H &H Ingham. And I believe that's going up somewhere near Manchester. And uh, we've got a train just passing us now. Though. So we're right next to the train track. Every people in there going to work. <laughs> Before I do, truck is looking all right. It's not filthy dirty, it's all right. It's not as clean as it could be. The wheels aren't quite as shiny as they could be, for example. So, um, yeah, find a jet wash and hopefully we can clean them ASAP. Right, three more left to go. So four have come off. They are uh, being taken off by this thing at the top here. As you can see, look, there it is just dangling. So yes, three more to go and then um, we can go. Another train. Just jumped up on the bed, look, so there it is. That's the one they've just taken off. They're putting them here. These three left to go. Right, last one to come off. And I do believe he's putting it there in between these two posts, right next to the truck. <laughs> there we go, four tonne. 
four ton in the air. I'm uh, just gonna grab these timbers when it moves away a bit more. Don't really wanna bend over, picking them up when it's close to my head. <laughs> okay, there we go, it's moving away. I'm gonna kick these timbers. Put them away. Right, paperwork signed. Let's see if the engine starts. Didn't start earlier, I had to jump it. Right, now we've got to try and spin round. Yeah, so we are, obviously as you just saw, we, just, we are now unloaded. So we're just gonna reverse out. It's a little bit snug. But hopefully we can do it in one hit. Someone is watching me back, by the way. I'm not just doing this by myself. That should do it, mate. Thank you very much. Cheers, mate. Oh. Brilliant. Thank you, mate. Right. Off we go. Off we go. So, the bloke who just unloaded us, he's got lots of lorries to tip, I think. I think there might be one or two outside waiting to get in from what he was saying. I think they are very busy. Like I said, I was the first one. I've been here, by the way. Oh, yeah, before I forget, actually. Let's just... Uh... Oh, no, yeah, see, there's two lorries here that waiting to be unloaded. Oh no. Oh, and there's one out here as well, look. <laughs> he wasn't looking. <laughs> Give him a little toot. Um, oh yeah, before I forget, time, what is time? We're leaving now, 9.55. Yeah, so there's, bloody hell, there's three of them. Three of them have turned up. Oh, I'm, I'm doubly glad I turned up when I did. AKA early, because I was the first one in. Are these parked? Yeah, these are parked. Thought they were queuing up then. Hard to vehicles. Yeah, so we're on our way now to H&H. &H. Apparently it was a 10 o'clock booking. ETA at the moment is like 10 past 11. I've got a feeling, well, I don't think it's being delivered today now. I think it was supposed to be delivered today, but I can't see it happening because we got out of here for so long. If we were only here for like an hour or two, I reckon it would be all right, but... What can you do? What can you do? This is a no left turn, so hopefully this car's not turning left. It's a, for me, it's completely blind. Well, it's not, I've got my mirrors to rely on and that's it. But it's a bit of a nasty junction this, because I've got to take up both lanes to get out. All clear. Let's go.
Lovely, 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 lovely. So, yeah, so um, we're going to crack on to H&H now, get this loaded as soon as possible. Like I said, I can't see us making it up to uh, up to Manchester before four o'clock, personally, and most places won't take deliveries after four, but I'll try. I'll, we'll see what we can do. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so we're in H&H, &H, we've got our paperwork, we've got the destination put into the sat-nav. Um, we're five hours, 19 minutes away. If we were to leave now, we wouldn't get there until... 10 to 5. So yeah, it's definitely not getting delivered today. The question is, how far up are we going to get? That's the question. Um, I know of a parking space in Middleswitch, which is where this pinpoint is here. So I'm aiming to get there. I probably won't get much further, I don't think. We've got Keel services, Sandbatch services. I don't know. I don't know where else we can stay. Um, but that's four hours and 19 minutes up to there. So we might not make that in one go. Um, so we might actually need to stop a little bit earlier. I don't know, I'll just have to wait and see. But yeah, the time now is 11.36 in the morning, so we will just get loaded and when we can leave, we'll leave and we'll just sort of see how far we can get. Probably have to stop on the way up and have a break and then we can uh, sort of like reevaluate where we're gonna park. Maybe there's somewhere in Manchester. I'm gonna have a look now and see if I can find somewhere else. Or I could go, instead of up the M40, I could go up the M1 potentially go that way instead a um, few more places to park on the way up that I know of to have a break or even just park up for the night and then join up it's um, in terms of time it's going to take eight minutes extra and it is an extra four miles but I think there's just more possibility of parking it's probably going to be a bit quieter I don't know I really don't know it we see what the traffic is saying when we leave. We we could end up going either way. There's there's really not much in it between going up the M1 up here or up the M40 up here. They pretty much run side by side. And then it's just which way around Birmingham you go, if that makes sense. Um, there's really not that much in it. So we'll see when we actually come to leave which route we take. Right, we're still here in H&H. &H. We turned up at half past 11 this morning and it's nearly half past one. Been here two hours, still waiting to be loaded. Um, someone has just come over to me and said that there's one more truck to be loaded and then you're next. I have a funny feeling that they are loading their own trucks before us, so it's just fine, whatever. Um, obviously, like I said earlier, it's definitely not getting delivered today. The question is how far up are we going to get? Ideally, the further up we go, the better, because then um, we have less distance to drive tomorrow. Um, but it's looking like we could potentially be having a nine hour rest off to get this delivered first thing in the morning. We won't know for sure until we actually, well, until we're actually loaded and, and head up there. That guy going past me now is definitely, yeah, he was here before me. So yeah, we're just, uh, it's a case of hurry up and waiting today. Okay, we are now being loaded. It's uh, 20 to two nearly. And uh, first ones are going on, as you can see. What happens is he pushes them on. So he's putting that one on there, look. That one now also needs to be pushed in. A forklift driver will come over in a minute and push it in. And then I strap it all up. All right, we are all strapped up, loaded. We're just trying to get our paperwork and then we will be off. Thank you, cheers. Thank you. Right, paperwork received. Let's get back into the truck. Let's put that there. It's going to raise my seat so I can uh, get this in the side locker easier. When you're higher up, you can. Uh, Reach it a bit more. <laughs> um, right, let's take this off. Pop that down there. Seat back on. Right, let's get going. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know where I'm stopping. I ain't got a clue. We'll see what the traffic's like on the way. Uh, the time now is, well, it's two o'clock. So, yeah. We've got three hours until like five o'clock rush hour traffic. So we'll, we'll see where we are in three hours time. We will be off the M25 in three hours time. So I will um, 
take a look at the roads and whilst we're on the roads and sort of have a look to see which way I want to go whether I want to go M40 past Oxford not that way to Birmingham or whether I want to go M1 past sort of Luton and Milton Keynes like I said earlier either way we're, it still takes us there just one way takes us around Birmingham on the left side and one side takes us around Birmingham on the right hand side so we'll see we'll see which way is looking quick see if there's any um, notices on the uh, matrix boards to see if there's any traffic on any of those roads I'll keep an ear out for traffic on radio too and we just see man we just see we could go either way I really don't know yeah, which way we're gonna go um, yeah <laughs> driving time has been reset so we, we're only on four minutes of driving time now that's because we've been doing a bit of driving inside there where we just were um, but obviously we were there for so long that obviously we've managed to get a break in whilst whilst waiting to be loaded so uh, we have reset our time we can do four and a half hours driving straight my aim is to do as much of that as possible really and then stop for a break and then carry on or we might just call it a day it depends on where we stop as well because that's the other thing i don't know <laughs> is uh we've got a lot of miles to cover and um <laughs> we just tried to do as much as we see there's a ra there's a sign there that says trucks left but we've just been told that we're banned from going up that way when doing h and h work but there is actually a brown sign saying trucks so that's strange never mind we do as we're told innit do as we're told right I'm going to crack on I need to like I said I need to have a think about where how far I'm going to go and then we'll go from there so I'll see you in a bit The Essential New Truckers Handbook is a book aimed at new drivers who want to become part of the industry this book will guide you through what to expect in the industry via its 28 chapters and will help you understand important rules and regulations such as driver's hours loading and unloading manoeuvring and much more this book also contains DVSA revision theory test questions and is a great read should you wish to gain some extra knowledge. The Essential New Truckers Handbook, updated and enlarged, available now. Link is in the description down below. Right, you join me nearly four hours later. We've actually been driving for three hours and 50 minutes. So um, it's a long time since you last saw me. The time is nearly six o'clock in the evening rush hour traffic wasn't too bad we're currently on the a50 like i said we're on three hours and 50 minutes of driving so we've only got 40 minutes left before we need to find somewhere to park or at least or, or have a break um i'm leaning towards in fact i think there's a lay-by coming up i'm going to see if this lay-by coming up is free i think there's a few down here and we're, i think we're going to have a break or do we just park up we might actually just park up because we're about two hours away from our delivery point tomorrow, which is fine. Um, they said get there for about eight o'clock, so as long as we leave before six, shouldn't be a problem. I've slowed down this lay-by looks for. Yeah, that's a four lay-by. Okay, we'll try the next one. I think there's another lay-by. Might have been able to get on the, the pavement. Yeah, I think there's another lay-by coming up, so we're gonna try that. And basically, yeah, basically now we're just going to try every lay-by we can uh, we can see and see if we can get, like basically just get into one and and have our rest. I do not want to leave it to the last minute to find somewhere to park. So that's an SOS from 300 yards. That's not a lay-by. So that's this one here on the left. That is not a lay-by. That is a SOS area. Okay, never lay-by in half a mile. So we'll see if this one's free. There is also a shower garage up the road with some parking spaces, but yeah, they're probably all taken as well. But we're just gonna um, check every one on the way. And if we find a space, we'll, uh, we'll nip in. I can't actually see if it's full or not. There is stuff in here. We're gonna have a look. We're gonna pop in and have a look. I reckon we can squeeze on this bit here. If we get a trailer right over, I reckon we can squeeze on this bit over here. The trailer would be on the path.
but we're in. Well, let's just put this back now. We might not be on the path very much, you know. Okay, I think we're actually off the path. You will arrive That's good. at your destination at 1958. Cool, right, so we need to put this on brake. Let's turn the engine off. I want the lights on. Head torch. We're going to go take a look outside, make sure everything's all okay with the truck. I'm sure it is. Still, still got my sunglasses on my head. <laughs> and then I um, need to do some calculations as well. Actually, we're just going to take it off brake a sec because I'm going to I'm technically work in when I'm putting this in the sat nav. Okay, we want to go to Louisiana Street. I just want to see how far away is it to our delivery point tomorrow without the destinations I had saved to potentially park. Oh, it's one hour, 45 minutes away, not two hours. So, um, yeah, we're going to park up here and uh, we just do one, one hour, 45 minutes in the morning. Definitely. That's so much better. Uh, like I said, they... arrive at your destination at 1945. I've already phoned them up. I phoned them up earlier just as I was leaving H&H &H as, as I come off camera. And... Um, they said they open at 7.30, so get there around about 8 o'clock. So, um, if I leave here at 6, yeah, if I leave here, if I leave this lay-by about 6 a.m., get up at half past 5, leave, leave by 6, job should be a good one. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's what, probably what we're going to do. Normally, I would end the video as well here, but I'm going to make this delivery and then I will end the video. Anyway, let's go check outside, make sure it's all good. So as you can hear, it's not the quietest. I, um, I sleep with um, like a tablet on playing noise anyway. It was a fan, but the fan isn't loud enough, so I just use my tablet instead. I don't know if you can hear me. Anyway, there's the truck. We've got, we've left a bit of space between me and the vehicle in front. So if he wants to reverse back to help himself get out, he can. Let's turn my torch on. So we're parked right up against the curb. Um, again, we'll just check everything's tight. Someone left a comment in my last um, video because I said I, I check all my straps when I park up and he said, do you not check them in the morning then? Yes, I do still check them in the morning. But if they come loose now and I do them up, it's just one less thing to do in the morning. <laughs> so they still get checked. That one could be done up a little bit. Yeah, they still get checked. That one as well. But uh, I just tick it off now, like, do you know what I mean? So we are ever so slightly on the pavement. Only ever so slightly. As you can see. Um, but that pavement there leads to nothing. So it's not the end of the world. Not blocking the lay-by. People can come in if they want and they can head straight down. So yeah, not blocking anybody at all. I'm just, uh, I'm just checking down this side of the truck now. Hang on. There you go. Saves me blinding you with my torch. So again, we're just checking the tyres are inflated. Nothing's fallen off. If anything is wrong, you know, we can get it sorted tonight. Call the tyre fitter out if need be. Everything looks good. Everything is gravy, baby. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, it's all good, man. I often get asked why do lorry drivers leave the doors open, but basically, he's a curtain cider. So if, any, if anyone comes over here tonight and they want to see what's inside his trailer to like nick it or whatever, rather than slashing the curtain, which cost the haulier money, they can just see what's on the back. So, there's drums or something, I don't know. 
one of the reasons, or well, one of the many reasons why I prefer flatbed work, because I ain't got to worry about opening doors. You can see what I'm, what I'm carrying. <laughs> well, yes, it's very noisy out here. It is quieter inside the truck. Um, and like I said, I'll have a tablet on playing like a fan noise. I'll fall fast asleep. I barely hear this traffic out here and it will die down once it gets later on in the day or in the night. Like I said, it's only six o'clock, so many people are still going home. So, but yeah. Anyway, I'll, uh, let's jump in the truck and uh, get ready for bed. Okay, so, like I said, quite noisy with the door open. But once you close the door up, it's actually not too bad. Um, it's quietish. And by the time I've got my tablet on making the noise it needs to make of an evening, um, you barely hear outside. And it goes quieter anyway, so. Yeah, it won't get much busier than this. Anyway, that's going to be it for tonight. Not for the video. I'm going to do uh, a little bit of recording, probably on my phone in the morning when the delivery is made. And uh, yeah, I'll see you then. Have a good night. Okay, good morning, everyone. We have arrived. Just put my old Ivy's on. We are in Manchester. And um, yeah, bit bit wet and rainy on the way down. But we are here, we're on the road, we're just gonna go in and speak to someone and uh, well, see where they want us. Yeah, it's right, it's an interesting one because I was wondering where they were gonna tip me. Plenty of space in here, but it's a bit tight getting in. I could always turn down there, weight limit, reverse back, but actually they said drive down there on the right. So we're going to move forward, drive down there, here's the truck. And uh, yeah, I'll just show you what we've got on again. So we've got these H&H &H blocks. We, uh, we left that lay-by this morning, um, about half past five, I think we left, and um, we're here now, half past seven. Got caught in a little bit of traffic, but not too bad. Uh, so yeah, I can see down there, look, there's a gate. I think he's gonna undo the gate there and then tip me from one side, I think. And then I would have thought it's a case of reversing back out onto the road. Anyway, let's move the truck. Right, this isn't great if I'm honest with you. Look at this. I've got to walk in this to take my straps off. I ain't got much choice. Someone asked me the other day, why do I take my boots off to go in the truck? Well, there's your answer. I don't want to be uh, in the truck with these muddy boots. Right, your straps are off. All been put away. We've just got to move back a bit now. So, uh, no, sorry, move forward so we can unload from the back. Okay, we are tipped. Um, they just said they got to deal with a customer and then they can watch me back. Um, Cause that's quite a busy road out there. So I got to reverse out and then sort of drive off and then um, yeah, go to the next destination. Right, we are in, um, where are we? Beetle, that's it. <laughs> We've got to get loaded with mesh, which is over there where that lorry is. So um, yeah, we've we got to wait for him to be tipped first and then we will be loaded. I've got a funny feeling this is a delivery for the morning because that's how far away it is to get there. So we'll have to stop for a break on the way down anyway. That's if we don't get caught in traffic. Plus, we're probably going to be here for at least an hour. So we're talking like half past four turning up. I'm pretty sure they don't take deliveries after four o'clock. I will double check here. But yeah. Once we eventually get loaded um, here, I would have thought we head down to Toddington Services and park up there for the night, which is actually where we stayed Monday night as well. So yeah, Monday night Toddington Services. Last night was in that lay-by, and then tonight I think we'll be in Toddington Services again. So it's good, that means I can go for a walk. <laughs> Trying to lose weight, again. They're really not very high, as you can see. Not very high at all, but we probably will have an overhang, so we've got to be mindful of that. On the basis that we will have an overhang, I'm going to have to get a, uh, a spare high vis out to put on the back. Okay, there we go. So we've got a spare high vis. We can whack that on the back end. If there is indeed an overhang, if we left right now, sat and I was saying we would be at the delivery point for 20 past four. 
that is not taking into account strapping, not taking into account traffic. So yeah, it's not gonna get delivered today. So I will definitely park up in Toddington tonight and deliver it first thing in the morning. Looks like he's just checking now. He's got out of his machine, he's checking it all to make sure it's all there by the looks of it. Okay, we are loaded. We're just doing the uh, the ratchet straps up now. We got nine in total, three on each row. There's three rows, and uh, should be enough. That's what I've used in the past. Yeah, okay. Right, so we do have a little bit of an overhang, so we're gonna go grab that high vis I got earlier and uh, double check all the straps are tight. We're happy with how they are. All good. And then we just gotta wait for our paperwork. Okay, we've got the high vis. Let's go put this on the, uh, on the back end. There we go, that'll do. All right, there we go, paperwork, good to go. So that is gonna be the end of today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Like I said, where we're taking this is uh, well, where I was at the start of this video. So um, yeah, it's kind of gone like full circle. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. We delivered to Staines, then we went to H&H, &H, up to, was it Walkden I went to in Manchester? Across the Liverpool Beetle where we are now. And now we're gonna head Straight back down again and do another delivery for tomorrow morning. Anyway, so yeah, that is going to be the end of today's video. So thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. I will see you soon. Don't forget to leave a comment down in the section down below. Give a thumbs up and, and subscribe and all that malarkey. Bye bye.